My name is Jorge Martinez, and I am running for Bibb County Commissioner District 2. And I'm here to give you some insight on the issues that I will be confronting if elected to the office of commissioner. One of the things that I believe District 2 is in badly need of is investment. Investment in the areas that are just littered across 2nd, 2nd Street, all the way down to uh, Houston and Pionona. That area alone we could bring in an economic boom to our area and will help uh, more people to move in so that our area is well uh, populated. Uh, knowing that it is two-thirds black and one-third white, we want to look at integrating the area and try to bring in businesses from outside of Macon to come down, take a look at some of the properties, and possibly be able to reinvigorate the area of South Macon. I believe it is close enough to the city and yet not far enough that it would have an impact on downtown as well. As part of my district, as I say, would be crossing over from Martin Luther King all the way down to the south side of Cherry Street. Those are the areas that, if you go and take a look, have been neglected for a while by the current elected officials and those that have the authority to bring change to the area. That has not been done. And I give you my commitment that that is an area that I would make sure all the way through to Pionono, that is an area that I will be willing to work on to try to bring investment for and try to get the area reinvigorated. The other issues that I think are available for those willing to invest is a lot of the properties uh, throughout this area that have been abandoned and condemned. Um, most of these homes, as I've said in one of my earlier videos, most of these homes need minor repair. It's not a lot of money to take one of these houses and fix them up and therefore we'll have enough housing available when and if people start to come in to the areas. Our population is growing now in Macon and I believe it is because we are a progressive city but some of the issues concerning safety, public safety, those are the issues that I also need to confront. No one's going to invest in a place that has high crime rates, have high drug rates, and has a uh, population that is basically not able to meet the standards that most cities have. One of those being a lot of kids out of school, a lot of kids not going to school, and a lot of young men and women without work. That is a big problem, folks. That is one that we have here in Macon, Georgia, and that we must also confront. How do we get jobs so that people will have and be able to earn a good living? if there are no jobs available. Well, I will be making sure that that is one of the issues that I will confront if elected for Bibb County Commission. Another is the churches. What have the churches been doing as of late? That is an issue that I will be confronting as well. Bringing the churches into play and making sure that they are reaching out to the communities so that the communities will always have 
a good place to go. I'm trying to keep it real, folks. This isn't an easy task. And for those who think it is, you're foolhardy to think that you're going to turn things around if you don't get to the core of the problem. The core of the problem is not the city streets. It's not the abandoned houses. It's not any of those things. But they do help. But it really is about the people themselves. How are you feeling? How are you doing? How are you coping? Those are the things that are most important to me as a candidate. And I give you my word and my commitment that that is exactly the focus that I will be focused on. And nothing else, really. Everything else is gravy. To get investment, all you have to do is sell the property. To get good grades in school is a lot harder. It's a lot harder to get good grades in school today. Our school system has been another problem. More focus on money, more focus on personality, and not focus on what is important, our children. Our children have been neglected for too long. For too long, politicians have turned a blind eye to what is most important to our city, and therefore, this is why we have this situation now in Macon, Georgia, where we have a high population of illiteracy. People are just not well tuned into education. We have a, uh, we have a Mercer University just around the corner, and I call on them also to step up and to bring some of their knowledge back downtown. We have a lot of those graduates leaving town once they get the education and not really investing in making Georgia. And that is wrong. That is uh, just not right. Uh, they do take some uh, time to invest in downtown, but it is in the inner cities that they're most needed. I also want to look at the old Millis, our high school building. See what could be done there. There are so many opportunities. We can make a center there that would help kids get educated, provide daycare, and provide some parenting skills in order for parents who are just learning, you know, it's on the job training to be a parent. To be a parent is a very hard thing in this economy and especially in this community. And so to teach them some parenting skills, learning how to rein in their kids when they're getting out of control, and learning life skills that I think would turn the tide of the malaise that is going on here in Maine. Finally, there are many candidates now running for this seat, and I hope that they make it as clear as I have what it is that they're thinking because I haven't seen anything yet. I'm not even sure who I was running against up until late. It seems like everyone's jumping on board to try to be a politician. I am not trying to be a politician. I am more trying to be a minister to my community than I have been for over 21 years. I have led a lot of so-called volunteer efforts. We in New York City, through Hope Our Wine, in which I am one of its founding members, was able to muster up over 100,000, over 100,000 people, families, and kids throughout Harlem. It, at the time, it was uh, known as Hope for Harlem. And we were able to knock on doors and get 100,000 kids immunized. I have led troops of 650, 700 people to go clean up a park. I have also been able to begin retreats, bring people out there, talk about the issues, talk about their whatever, and was very effective. I've been a minister now for 21 years. I have led ministries 
that are a thousand strong. And so, to me, this challenge is nowhere near the challenges that I've already faced. That gives me some credibility to being a candidate that could definitely make a difference. And that is all I'm trying to do, is make a difference. Making a difference means I am mad. I am mad about our city. I love our city. I think our city is great. I think the opportunities are there for everyone to have an impact and to God be the glory. Again, thank you and wish me luck.